I'm back. Hello, remember me? So yeah, what have you missed? I lost my job. I'm in a temp role. I started an online business. I got monetized and I haven't posted on YouTube for almost two months. <laughs> so that is where I have been. <laughs> That's why I disappeared and I'm back. I actually feel like I know, don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you can tell I've had a break because you're sitting on a Google, a Google Nest Wi-Fi box as a tripod because all my tripods are upstairs. Sorry, I didn't understand, <laughs> but I found something else. Do you want to know what is the downside of Google Nest? <laughs> no, thank you. That took me way longer than I would have liked, half an hour. So I'm gonna do a little light layer of uh, makeup because I've woken up with a couple of weird spotteries going on. We'll just have a quick chat while I'm doing my makeup because uh, I've got to save time because <laughs> it's nearly two o'clock. So I'm going through a phase of trying to use things up, mainly because I'm on a very, very, very tight budget. At the moment I am about to finish my second mini sized Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte's Magic Water Cream and I use this um, as a base moisturizer in the morning. I'm also using up trial sample size products for skincare just to finally get around to using them. I really like this because it, it's not scented and it's very gel like which I prefer for moisturizer um, because I've got sensitive skin. Super hydrating, lightweight gel cream moisturizer. Uh, so I'm also nearly out of my all nighter primer. I'm gonna use that. So if you, oh geez, I'm really low on battery. Shit. Put you in now so you don't go flat. If you're a subscriber or you, maybe you've just clicked on this video, quick recap. Look, I've gone AWOL. To put it lightly um i if you remember if you've watched my videos recently i think i posted one video last month which was for periacetabulosiomy hip related kind of content and prior to that i was posting i think once a week once a fortnight ish and earlier this year in march i put up a video because i actually just got made redundant <laughs> <laughs> Not sure what's gonna happen next. Lots of lots of things up in the air. Might be a blessing in disguise, this whole situation, because I need to find a source of income that maybe I can generate on my own. It might be called getting laid off in America, like I'm not sure the terminology is different, but essentially called into a meeting in my office on a Monday morning and I think it was the fourth, fourth of March, uh 9 30 in the morning, and they basically said to me, you can go home and not come back. <laughs> and here's two weeks pay. Um, we're really sorry, but blah, blah, blah. I didn't see it coming, but I should have because of the, the type of business that it was and there was a few things that happened. I was like, oh, okay, shit. I think I was six, not quite six months in, so I was still on probation. So technically they only needed to give me a week of pay they gave me two which was very kind of them uh truth be told i wasn't happy in that role so it was kind of a blessing in disguise i basically manifested the situation um it came a little bit too quickly mind you i would have liked a little bit more time to find a job to go to but what happened was i found a temporary position and the same week um, I had an interview for it and then I started that temporary casual like nine to five position the following Tuesday I think it was so as far as uh, circumstances go it was actually okay wasn't too bad aside from the massive um, going down a few pegs in, in remuneration like per hour <laughs> so I I'm still in that role anyway after that happened I was like you know what I'm sick of I'm sick of being at the mercy of someone else. To go even further back, I started doing like office administration type roles while I finished studying um, interior design. And then in architecture, I was working in, um, in office work and I wanted to finish my um, studies and then start being an interior designer, which didn't happen. 
COVID happened. Long story short, I couldn't really afford to go down to a junior salary for interior design because I lived in Sydney, which is a very expensive city to live in. And I was on my own in terms of financial, um, I had no partner, so I couldn't like have anyone help me in that respect. So it kind of just, I just stayed in the field I was in, which is business support, administration, office operations, those sort of roles. And I, I, it's not, look, it's not my passion. I don't love it. It's not like, it's not my life calling. Um, I'm good at it. I'm good at it, but I don't love it. And I think I've always said that. I've probably said that previously and I need to actually talk and do makeup. What do I do next? I don't know if I can do talking and makeup at the same time. So I'm going to use good old Hollywood flawless filter by Charlotte Tilbury. So anyway, I was doing it because it meant I could survive and because of COVID as well, I had a job and my previous life before I started finishing my studies and working in administration, I was a full-time model and which most of you know, but I had a very different lifestyle and life was kind of self-employed, but I had an agency and they paid me, but it wasn't like a wage. I just got paid um, per, per job. And so I didn't have like a nine to five. I didn't have to turn up to an office every day doing the same stuff. Um, every day I had work. It was a different aside from like regular clients, everything was kind of different. So I loved the variety and create creativity. It was really fun. And I had a lot of free time, probably too much free time, but that, that also came with like less income and that's probably why I decided to stop was because I wanted something a bit more predictable, a bit more stable. I wanted to know when I was getting paid and be able to, uh, I don't know, save for things, get a better credit rating, become an adult basically. <laughs> I wasn't really used to, I was very spoiled and I know I was. And I'm very grateful and I'm no way, yeah, don't take this the wrong way. But um, so after a couple of years doing this sort of work that I'm doing now, what I, what I struggle with is the, the system where you, you work so many hours a day for this rate and then you get paid this much and then like that's it. And I've had I've gone up in pay scales and then when I moved to Tasmania I went way down because the just the, the different level of like the same job in Sydney would be paying me way more than the same job in Tasmania but the cost of living is way lower here so it kind of works out essentially exchanging my time for money and a rigid uh, way of working where you are not really treated like an adult overtime hours without being paid for them um, you have to ask to have time off and sometimes you're not allowed to even if you've got the time there's just a lot of things about the acceptable way to earn a living that I don't really it doesn't sit well with me and it's because I think I had experienced a decade or so of living differently so I'm coming from a place where I didn't come out of school and university and go straight into a nine to five job. I did something totally unorthodox, I suppose. And I had to supplement my income with um, casual jobs as well, dog walking, bartending, photography on the side. But I'm a creative person and I think I just think a little bit differently and I'm, I'm not one to want to conform. So turning up every day at the same time, Having an hour for lunch, taking an hour to get to work, taking an hour to get home, only having two hours a night for yourself and doing it all over again in a, in a career or a job that I'm just in no way passionate about whatsoever. It's just I'm just doing it to make money so I can live and do things I actually enjoy. Totally different story if I really loved what I was doing. I might have no problems with this whole system. I just... 
I fell into it, I suppose. Um, and I'm grateful that I was doing it during COVID because I had income where if I was doing modeling still, I would have been on um, government handouts, which would, would have been really hard. So I'm, I'm grateful and everything happens for a reason. And what I did was meant to happen. But anyway, fast forward to moving back home for whatever reason. I've actually really rambled on, sorry. So I'm actually putting on now, this is new. This is Shantakai Future Skin Oil Free Gel Foundation. This is the shade Porcelain. And it's, it says medium coverage, I think, on the description. Um, I'm doing it backwards because I've got my nails and they get product under them. After a while, I started thinking um, I really need to find another source of income that I can potentially like, become my own boss, work for myself. I just like being able to have a bit more say in my, my day how it's structured, the time off I have, when I have lunch, when I start work, when I finish work, working from home, all those things. And this was when I was in Sydney. And I thought, oh, I've got no idea what I would do because I don't have, at the time, I thought I haven't got any skills that I can translate into anything. So I was kind of at a loss. Anyway. I just kind of shelved that and then I started doing YouTube because I needed a creative outlet because I wasn't modeling and doing photography. I wasn't doing that either. And the studying interior design ended and I didn't get to go into doing interior design. So I really needed something where I could utilize all my skills and still sort of feel like I was modeling, but also have a creative outlet with video production and all that sort of thing. So that's why I started a YouTube channel and I had a lot of ideas and I was inspired by some other YouTubers I still follow to this day. But anyway, so that was fine. And I started that last year in, I think February I started filming, um, but that was only a year ago. And I was working in an office in Sydney and I just thought, you know what, isn't that nice? The texture of that foundation. So it's buildable, but it's like, um, cause you can, you can still see like my blemishes and everything. It's just a very lovely, kind of feels like moisturizer. I'm going to put concealer on as well. Yeah, so I was working in a full-time job in Sydney and in my lunch breaks and in my time off after work, I was doing YouTube, I was editing in my car on my lunch break and after work and on a weekend filming. So I was doing a lot of, for the last 12 months, that's essentially what I've been doing. So I've been working very hard and dedicated, spending a lot of, my free time working on my YouTube channel. The goal isn't to like just get monetized and like that's it. Like I quite enjoy the process. And to be honest, the last few months I've kind of missed it because I haven't been, um, I haven't been doing it. So I really, I've really missed, I've missed you guys, I've really missed it. So um, I spent my lunch breaks after work doing YouTube, editing videos, Oh, I've got to put my concealer on and I was happy to do it because it's helped me to I suppose get to where I am now in terms of being monetized because I got monetized actually it's been a few months but um, and this is a very long-winded story as to why <laughs> um, what's happened since then what happened next was kind of the spanner in the works, I suppose, which is when I got made redundant. Been living in, in Launceston for five months, starting to get my groove, and then I was made redundant. And I was like, shit, I've got to pay, how am I going to pay my rent? I've got a lot of financial obligations and it's just me. It's not like I had a partner or a husband that was currently working as well that we could, you know, survive off and I could just figure it out and we'd be fine. It was just like, okay, I've got to feed my cats. I've got to, this is the Charlotte Tilbury 
um, I'm not actually sure what this is called. It's like their under eye. It's in one. Shade one, fair, and it's like the under eye stuff. <laughs> it's for like dark circles, basically. Um, and I love it. Absolutely love it. And it's sort of a pinky shade because it's counteracting the blue under my eyes. So I, I use it every day, especially if I'm not wearing much makeup. So then I'm putting on my absolute favorite. This is Hourglass Vanish Concealer in the shade Cotton. This is like literally the best concealer. So when I was living in Sydney, I started my YouTube channel. I was also still looking for a, an online job something I could do that was remote or that I could do for myself, somehow work from home, start my own business doing something. YouTube isn't really, wasn't ever that, I didn't start it for that reason. One, because I knew it was going to take me a while, um, like to, to work, to A, get monetized and B, actually start earning a decent amount of coin from, from YouTube. It's not like an overnight immediate success. I wanted something else that I could do, that I could work on, that was not more instant, but just more, um, wasn't so much reliant on me. Like, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I was looking for a solution, not like a get rich quick scheme, but I really wanted to have some way to make money online that I could scale and have, have as a source of income that could potentially replace my need for a nine to five and then I could spend more time on YouTube and I couldn't really find anything. It was very hard to, to find online just like a simple solution. I tried drop shipping of Amazon, Etsy and I thought oh, I can, I'm really good with graphic design and I'm creative so I could do something that's like digital product based but I'm like I have no idea how, where to start, how to sell them, how to get people to buy them. I was like very uh, lost in that sense. I knew I could do, do it, just didn't know how. So I kind of just thought, well, something will come to me one day. <laughs> I'll find the solution. Right now, I just wanted to focus on YouTube and that's what I did. So then when I finally moved back here, I was looking for a new job, literally just looking for a new nine to five. Uh, so then I was made redundant and during my first few weeks in my temp job, which I'm still in and it's July, <laughs> I came across a, uh, I guess a solution it was presented to me for what I'd been searching for, for all these months. And it was a, an online start your own business, selling digital products solution. So I thought, okay. I could do this so I started looking into it then I decided that there's no time like the present this is I've manifested this this is literally what I've been looking for so I just started <laughs> and that entailed buying an online course and learning all the skills essentially I had to learn a new skill which I wasn't really that well trained in or knew anything about which was digital marketing and yes, I do a little bit of that for YouTube and I have done in the past for Instagram. Really need to shave my upper lip. But I didn't know the skills. I just knew how to create content. And what happened was I found this person on Instagram and they had a faceless Instagram account where they were selling digital products and digital courses like guides, ebooks, um, online courses and they had they were totally faceless so they didn't they weren't in front of the camera so they weren't doing this to sell they were using stock video footage uh, and they were mainly using Instagram just Instagram and they were making thousands of dollars a day a day US and I was like Surely this is a scam. How can this be? This sounds too good to be true. Anyway, um, so I looked into it a bit more and this was all at my desk of my current like temp job where I was like, I don't know how long I'll be here for. It's originally for three weeks and I need to find a solution. 
ASAP. So this just came, it came to me when I needed it. This is taking me ages to do my makeup. I think it's because I'm talking to you. I thought, well, look, if it doesn't work, I've only spent $500. Yes, that's a lot, but it's an education as well. So I'm not just putting money into something where I potentially won't get anything out of it. I have learned so much in terms of skills that I can use for my YouTube channel. So I, I kind of thought I want to learn how to market properly, how to sell properly. Um, and the other thing that I wasn't sure on is what I'm going to do with this channel eventually if I want to link it to a blog, for example, which I haven't had time to do, or a website where I could sell something, make an income stream that would align with my channel and my brand and Instagram because there is an element of influencery stuff because I've used to do that with modeling and my Instagram account and YouTube hasn't really, I haven't really gone down that road yet with YouTube because all I'm doing is just enjoying making videos that I, I enjoy making. But I feel like I've got a hair stuck to my face somewhere, but I can't see it when I look in the mirror. It's very annoying. Um, now I'm going to put on, this is the By Terry Hyaluronic Pressed Hydra Powder. It's in like shade zero, colorless. And I've nearly finished it because it's really nice. For some reason I just prefer pressed translucent powder over um, loose. Does anyone else like that? Yeah, so I was like, well, look, even if it doesn't work out and I can't, I'm not like buying this course just to resell this course. I want to learn how to create my own online business. And the sort of course that I bought, I bought, it's like a master resale, right? So you, you may have heard of this. It's been around since the internet began basically, but they're products that you can resell once you buy them because you obtain the legal rights once, like it comes with the rights when you buy the product. So it could be a course or a, a digital product or um, a guide or like anything that's digital that comes with this, like these rights, you are allowed to distribute it and keep all the profit like there's no it's not a pyramid scheme or anything you don't like give it all half your profit to someone else you just you keep it like it's your own product that you've created so it kind of it, it's a, a good model if you're starting because you can start making money on the course or the product that you buy and learn from while you start to like make your own products or courses or eventually some make money somehow but Anyway, so this woman on Instagram was doing that and she was making so much money. So I started looking into it and I found more and more um, people doing this like faceless digital marketing. And I think it's not saturated like there's thousands and like hundreds of thousands of people doing it all over the world, but um, it's starting to get gain in popularity, but you may not have heard of it yet. <laughs> um, if you're at all interested, I'll put the links down below to my my Instagram and my, um, just any information if you're curious about it, but I have made money so far. Nothing groundbreaking, but I started 12 weeks ago. So that's where I've been. <laughs> I have been, um, I've slightly neglected my, in, my YouTube, <laughs> to put it lightly, understatement of the year. What happened was I thought, right, I'll spend a few weekends. I will learn everything throughout the week, set everything up, create the products and rebrand everything, do my branding. And because I didn't have to film myself, it was really attractive to me because I already am doing this. <laughs> and this is time consuming. And I thought if I start an Instagram uh, page where I have to film myself, doing that stuff, then that's twice the amount of filming that I have to do every weekend, for example. And I'm already, I already barely have time to do this. So essentially I was like, right, I'll start it off. I'll do it faceless. I'll use, um, I'll follow the, the steps that you are given to, to, you know, do it without the need to film yourself. And I'll see how it goes. I totally underestimated how much time it was going to take me. And what turned, what was going to be a few weekends <laughs> has turned into two, three months worth of 
weekends. <laughs> I can do it throughout the week. I've made my own digital products. I have bought more than one course since then. I've learned a lot of stuff and I'm happy to learn a new skill. Digital shit isn't going anywhere. <laughs> digital skills are really high level, high income skills. And because I've already got a YouTube channel and I want to have a blog eventually and use Pinterest and have my Instagram and use, put more in, attention into my Instagram and maybe even TikTok. So I was really, I was like, this is win-win. I don't, I'm going to learn the skills I need for all of these things. Plus I could potentially create my own income stream on the side that would hopefully by now have replaced my lack of money that I was getting from my job um, and am still temporarily employed, I needed a solution and that was my solution. So, so far I've made just under 200 Australian dollars, <laughs> which isn't much, but it's been seven sales and it's, it's hard to explain if you just meet, if I'm just telling you. So if you're interested, go and look at my um, Instagram account. It's linked. It's called The Unseen Approach. And that's, it's just named because I'm doing everything without being seen. <laughs> and eventually I, I will probably, if it works for me, and it will work, um, I will either transition that account or start a new account where I'm face forward. I want to be able to have digital products that I can sell, maybe even a course. I don't know in what, what uh, niche, for example, it could be interior design. I don't know. could be modeling, photography, or just making money online. I really am not sure. But the point is that now I know how to do it. And I have started my own online business as a beginner. And I've made money already. During the week, I spend my lunch breaks on my computer in my car, either editing YouTube videos, which I haven't been doing lately, or working on this business. Whether that's creating digital products or learning stuff or creating content, writing captions, that sort of thing for Instagram. And I also spend my evenings doing it. So I've spent a lot of time. And I guess what happened was I didn't really know how much time it was actually going to take me. And I don't really start things. I don't like to just half ass stuff. <laughs> I like to really put a lot of effort in and I'm very dedicated if I really enjoy doing something. So I wanted to tell you all about this sooner, but I've got this bad habit that I need to stop doing, which is I don't like to share things until it's done and I have something tangible or finished or complete to present and show. And that's something that's from when I was, um, by the way, I, when I was little, that it was um, Airbrush Bronzer by Charlotte Tilbury in the shade 2 Medium. And now I'm using an Hourglass Ambient Lightning Edit Surreal Light Palette that is very old, but I really like the blush, for using it for, for blush rambled for ages really thank you so much if, you, if you're still here <laughs> right uh, now I'm putting on oh geez I've got a Charlotte Tilbury crush <laughs> I'm using the uh, airbrush flawless setting spray so how long have we been talking for 38 36 minutes holy shit that is, that's what I've been doing. Oh, I've got this new mascara that came in my beauty loop. This is Bare Minerals Maximus. I'm going to try this actually. I'm so sorry. Um, a couple of people have uh, either messaged me on Instagram or on YouTube just to see if I'm okay. Um, if, if everything's okay, where am I? Am I coming back? Am I still alive? Um, so if, if that's you or if, you, if you've even thought about it, thank you so much. I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry that I've been, I disappeared. I shouldn't have been surprised, but I was really surprised that anyone bothered to inquire about my whereabouts, my well-being, just because I am still a young channel. I haven't got that many um, subscribers, so I, I feel guilty because... I was I was posting a video every two every, twice a week, once a week, 
for 12 months almost. And then I just stopped <laughs> posting. Um, but also because I, I actually got monetized the day that I launched my online business, <laughs> which I wasn't expecting to happen. April 27th. Yay! <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you so much. So uh, all I was waiting for was to hit a thousand subscribers. And then I went through the, wow, this is a massive, look how thick that uh, mascara brush is. Like I had to go through like the whole monetization sign up process, which I was already sort of halfway through. Wow, this is very thick mascara. This is awful mascara. It's so clumpy. Oh, it probably doesn't look awful from, from there, but that is atrocious. I need to get a spoolie. Yeah, so I got you monetized on YouTube. Yay! And then I stopped posting for two months. <laughs> Almost. Um, I've still been gaining subscribers and I have been obviously earning money on my videos, but I haven't I've only posted once in the last 12 weeks been really naughty and it probably was the worst time to stop posting videos and I wasn't intending I, so here's the thing I wasn't intending to stop posting I was like I'll just spend a few weekends working on my business instead of YouTube and once I've got it going I'll go back to doing YouTube filming and I'll just I'll just have a little bit more to juggle so I just didn't really, I was a bit naive on how much time it was going to take me. Essentially, I'm now working two full-time jobs because YouTube plot was already a lot of time, say a part-time job, but because I've got a full-time job that's nine to five and then I'm now running a business, I have to treat it like it's a business, not a side hustle or it'll only ever stay a side hustle. I've got to spend a lot of time and I'm very dedicated when I want to be. I'm not, I'm not getting enough sleep. I'm going to bed late. I'm having a lot of, getting a lot of headaches. I've stopped exercising and I am not getting up early enough. So there's a lot of, a lot of things going on in my life that I, uh, I need to fix. Aside from that, there's not a lot much else that's happening. It's midwinter. It's cold don't know how much of a fan I am of that mascara. I'm actually super excited. I got this in a beauty loop box as well. This is the vanilla Summer Fridays lip gloss. Jeez, it's nice. I see why everyone like raved about it. Mm. I really, you can probably see all my little gray hairs peeking through. I really need to get my hair done. It's 2.40. Have I been? I started doing my hair and makeup at one. I've been sitting here for an hour and a half. <laughs> wow. So oh, there we go. I've done my hair and makeup. <laughs> it's taken me a while. Um, now I need to just throw on some clothes and then we will keep talking. We will keep talking. <laughs> I've just thrown on a pair of comfy what are these called? I guess they're track pants, but they're like knitted ones. And this is just like a zipped jumper um, with a collar. So just comfy clothes because it's freezing today. And I am just kicking about the house, explaining myself <laughs> to you. So uh, I guess I'll show you really quickly. So I moved this which used to be here and then this used to be there and that, and that rack um, used to be there. <laughs> uh, so I've just got like this island bench that used to be in my kitchen in Sydney and it used to come out to about here. So I've moved it and I've just got more space here for, you know, activities. Let's go out here. Could hang out some washing as well not outside though because it's freezing um, but it's a lovely sunny day even though it was raining this morning yeah the sun oh sun's come out this afternoon I've got notes here of what I need to tell you <laughs> but also I'm about to do a, quite a few videos filming wise and one of them is an empties which I'm excited about because 
I think the last empties I filmed was in January. What I would like to know is if you are a subscriber, thanks for watching. <laughs> Sorry, I know. What kind of videos of mine uh, do you most enjoy or how did you find me or why did you subscribe? If you could let me know in the comments, I'd really appreciate it because I want to, I want to create content for you, but I also want to enjoy creating content. Sorry if you can hear my dishwasher. Um, Essentially, I want to know what videos to do more of. So what are you loving of mine? What did you, what made you follow me? Let me know so then I can create content that you enjoy. <laughs> I really wish I could do polls on my um, YouTube description so I could put up a poll. Maybe I'll do one in my community, ta community tab. And I'm about to film a video about what I'm earning. So if you're interest you are interested in what I earn on YouTube as a monetized YouTuber, as a small creator. Um, subscribe so you don't miss when that one comes out. It should be in a couple of weeks. And I'm going to talk about how I got monetized, how long it took me, and then I'll probably do a separate video for my first paycheck, which I haven't received yet. <laughs> I'll break it down analytics wise. I've actually got an interview this week at work, which is for the role that I'm temping in. I've been doing it for three months roughly. It's a casual role, so I don't get any holidays or sick pay. I have uh, an interview for the actual role I'm in next week um, because they're filling the position. Hopefully they give it to me because it would just be so much easier if I could just keep working there. And it's a government role, so I'm working for the state of Tasmania. Look, if anyone from my, my work watches this video, they will have known and figured out that it's not my passion, probably told them in person. <laughs> um, and this is what I want to be doing. I'm really passionate about YouTube and working online and working for myself, but I guess working as a public servant is not a bad option right now until that becomes a reality. I'm just really tired of working hard for someone else to make them rich or line their pockets or allow them to have more freedom, time freedom, financial freedom. I just want that for myself. I'm at the point now with my online business and my Instagram business that I, I figured it out roughly. I feel like I've got a handle on it. So from now on, I have a bit more time left to dedicate to YouTube and I've really missed it. I've missed you guys. <laughs> I wanted to focus and give all my energy to that new venture so I could get that income stream happening and have the ball rolling. It'll allow me to eventually limit my hours that I work in my nine to five and or resign and not need my nine to five so that I can dedicate more time to you. So really it was for you. <laughs> I, I neglected you, but it was for you. <laughs> so that is where I have been. My little fluffy puffy, you sleeping? Oh, one thing I am going to do though, I got um, the Elemis. I'll show you. I'm actually about to do a video of this. This is my new cat box, cat litter box that's going upstairs <laughs> um, because. I've only got two, which are here, and B has decided to start peeing in the bath, which is really annoying. I got this Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm, which is the cleansing balm that everyone goes on about. It's like a cold product, but I swear by the Alpha H Cleansing Balm, and I've never tried this, so I'm gonna compare them tonight, or later on, once I'm, once I'm done filming, I'm going to wash this makeup off and we're going to use this on one side of my face and the Alpha H on the other and I'm going to compare them. So stay tuned for the end of the video for that, which could be next. Uh, maybe I'll show you what I've been talking about. So at the moment I have made, I can't show you the bottom of the screen, but yeah, so far I've made that much money. Um, selling digital products online um, using my Instagram, which is and it's sort of the whole point of starting an Instagram that's faceless is that you don't have to re reveal your identity. You can kind of remain anonymous or if for whatever reason, if it's 
you know, you don't want anyone to know, you don't want to be judged, you want to just start without commitment of filming yourself, you're um, an introvert, you're lazy, <laughs> like me, um, you don't have time, all myriad of reasons, or you don't want work to find out, another reason why I was, this was really attractive to me. So anyway, this is my Instagram that I've been spending all my time on. So my branding is very me, red, fashion, um, even my logo is red. There's all my followers. I don't have many. Um, I'd really love some support if you're interested. <laughs> Please follow me on Instagram. Um, yeah, so the idea is to post content daily on stories and on um, my feed but by way of reels. And I use also use threads. And by doing that, I have driven traffic eyeballs people from my content on Instagram to my website which is my store where I sell digital products that help people make money online but either by learning the skills for digital marketing for their own business they could be a makeup artist they could sell hair gel um, sell services like mowing <laughs> lawn mowing so it's I've learned how to market any online business, but I am in the niche where I teach people how to make money online by making digital products. It doesn't matter what category or niche, um, you could be teaching people how to braid their hair <laughs> or how to train their dog or how to book a 16 week holiday overseas. Like there's, there's so, many, um, so, so many ways that you could make money selling digital products. So I, I'm still getting the hang of it. I'm still learning. I'm still, like I'm only a few months in and I'm still growing and learning, but it's all a skill I had no idea how to do, marketing, sales. So I've kind of, oh, I'm about to run out of battery. Uh -oh. Ugh, let's plug you in. I have learned uh, all these skills that I can use forever in my life going forward with YouTube, with blogging, selling anything under the sun. <laughs> so, but I'm enjoying it, but I have missed you. I've really missed you. So that's about it really. I don't really know what else to put in this blog. Oh, I do want to know though, what are you interested in? What do you want to know? Do you want to know more about Tasmania or Launceston, what life's like down here versus Sydney or anything like that? Please get in, jump in the comments and let me know because I, I just want to make the right content. <laughs> also, I forgot to ask you, um, because I got monetized, yay, go me. Um, I've decided to celebrate by doing a Q&A type video because it's kind of like I've got a whole bunch of new subscribers and I just feel like it's time that I did a Q&A. So if you've got any questions um, for me, about me, about my life, whatever, please pop them down below. I might also run a, a Q&A on my stories on Instagram when I release this video. So go over to my Instagram, follow me over there and we will meet up there and you can submit any questions that you have. What I'll do is I'll comment on this video and then you can reply to that as a thread. So I'll do a few um, just to make it more fun. And then I will film that video and I will release it um, when I get enough questions, I suppose. Uh, I may have to ask, end up asking myself some questions, but look, that's okay. We've learned that that's okay. <laughs> so at the moment, I'm um, I'm just clearing up some, some space on my memory cards because I have been talking, I've only got five minutes left on this memory card before it's full. And that's how long I've been talking to you for. So hopefully this video wasn't too long and boring and you enjoyed it. <laughs> if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I also will be doing soon a check-in, a check-in video for, because at the start of the year I did like an intention video for 2024 so it's halfway through the year and we're going to review 
my intentions and see how I'm going. I'm going to give this myself a report card. It's not going to be good. Um, anyway, so you've just appeared. Hello, darling. Hello. Say hello to your fans. Say hi. That's all. Bye. I'm filming on my iPhone because my camera died and it's charging at the moment. So we are filming this, what is it? Six o'clock. And I filmed a couple of videos for YouTube. Just push through with the echoing, just ignore it. <laughs> I am going to be comparing. This is my holy grail. Love, love, love this cleansing balm. This is more expensive and you get more in this and it's not as expensive. So this has got 90 grams and this has got 50 grams of product. I haven't tried this. I haven't smelt this. I have no idea what the texture is like. So this is a real first reaction comparison slash test. So I'm going to do half my face, this half with this Elemis and then the other half with my Alpha H to show you the difference and also for my own experience to see what it's like. Um, so, oh, oh, I can smell it already. Wow, it does have a similar scent. This one's got like more of a botanical, there's something else in there, possibly lavender. This is how much I've used of this. Oh, I just love how, I just love the orange smell from this. Oh, it just smells like Christmas or orange peel or I don't know. It's just bloody delicious. Anyway, so we're going to compare them right now. <laughs> the texture, I mean the colour. How this one looks fresh is sort of how this one looks when you get it fresh. So I'm just going to put my hair back. I actually feel really sad about washing off my makeup because it's quite nice. I've done a quite a nice job, don't you think? Does anyone else get really sad when they have to wash away a really good face of makeup? I mean, I've filmed some videos, so I don't feel too gutted that I'm not like wasting makeup. That's probably too much because that's probably what I, how much I'd use for my whole face. Really big divot in the middle. Usually I get this warm in my hands. Maybe I should do them at the same time. So we're just gonna go like... <laughs> <laughs> mm. Wow, it's very thick. Oh, this one feels slightly thinner, not as like it's slippery. It's a lot more slippery. It's that oak scent. Yeah, this one feels like it's like way more uh, just a thick, really thick oil, whereas this one feels really emulsify slippery kind of like how coconut oil feels on your skin really slippery this one's a lot thicker they both smell really nice though i can't like both of them have a similar citrusy smell two very boring minutes later it feels like this one sort of feels like it's dragging over the skin a little bit more this one's sort of gliding over the skin that dollop would definitely do my whole face for both, I would say. Maybe, actually, I'm, you, you'd nearly need more of this to do your whole face because this really emulsifies. Right. I feel like with the Alpha H, I'm getting more value for money. It's about the same. I'm going to go to the other side of the face washer. What do you think? Do they both look equally as clean? I think they do the same thing. This one's just more expensive and you get less because I will definitely be using this up once I use this up. I don't know about you, but when I take off mascara with cleansing balms, any eye makeup removing process, I usually end up with a bit of gunk in my eye at the end that's like, mascara little bits of mascara this eye had way more like gunk to this eye if we're giving it a score and if it's a competition alpha h definitely wins because it did a better job at getting off the gunk they both did a fine job but in terms of eye makeup remover 
I think the Alpha H does a far better job, mainly because it's a little bit thinner, so it spreads a little bit easier. So there you go. <laughs> I am going to finish my skincare and then have dinner. And you know what? I think I found a winner. I've always loved the Alpha H and I've always wanted to try the LMS and now I am so pleased I didn't have to pay for this. It was in a Mecca Beauty Loop box so it was a free full size sample and this Melting Moment Cleansing Balm with Wild Orange Leaf Extract, I will keep buying this until they don't sell it anymore. <laughs> I'll put the price comparison in Australian dollars on screen. So there you go. There you go. So we would have just seen my comparison with the cleansing balms, but I've just filmed this outro so I don't have to worry about it later because it's really nice lighting at the moment. And anyway, I just wanted to say thank you so much for your support and for subscribing and, and watching this video and sticking with me and coming back and allowing me um, to indulge you in my my long-winded story about where I've been <laughs> and uh, for forgiving me for being away disappearing so yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video Mwah! bye